Thorpe is a queen of entertaining. For her, it's all about manaakitanga. Anne hosts many stunning events at her homes in Auckland and Pākehā. She produced a cookbook around her TV series Kai Ora and has been busy on a new show Kai Land and Sea. Kia ora, Anne. No Kia way. Hi, Remai. Kua roa roa wa te wa. It's been too long and I haven't had you in my kitchen. Me taha he rere ke tenei ahua because usually I come to your house and you feed me. Oh, it's lovely to be in your kitchen for a change and um, I'm excited that we're cooking together. Ka pai, whakamahi ahau. Make sure you put me to work. Yes. Not just dishes. <laughs> Let me get in amongst it because I know I always so admire the kai. That you serve up, it's always so beautiful. So let us uh, share the love today. Oh, perfect. Well, we're making two dishes today, and two fish dishes. I'm doing a tarakihi, I'm steaming it on some lovely watercress. I'm also doing another dish for trevally, and I'm pan frying that using anchovy butter, and we're going to have a lovely fresh herb salad as well. Okay, ka tīmata kihi, a kite tarakihi, we're going to start with the tarakihi. The tarakihi, but first of all, because potatoes and the kumara are going to take a little bit longer, we need to get into that so that we can get it on, because these dishes are really, really simple. So I'll grab these. You do one and I'll do one. Kapai. We probably don't need them both, but we will do them. I'll cut them up. We're going to put them in a pot. Quarters there. And just grab a bit of that mint and then we'll throw that on. And that'll just give it a bit of a mint carry on there. And um, I'm going to cut these up a little bit smaller because we need them ready. Just turn it in there so it'll be easier to cook, go faster. Yeah? Yes. Oh, oh, fantastic. Now I'll cut those because okay. I'm going to cut them specifically. Okay. I'm just cutting them like battens. So they're like chips. Yeah, and we'll put that in. This is really special oil, this. Lot 8 oil from Martinborough. I'll have the um, rosemary now. OK, cut back. Put the rosemary in there. And we'll pop these on the tray here and get them started in the oven. That's for our second dish. And or to roast it in there. Perfect. OK, so now we're coming to this steaming of the tarakihi. Oh, wow. First of all, we'll put water in here. So I'm going to put this baking paper on the bottom. It's going to stop everything from sticking. It's perfect for that. Now, Reira, tarakihi te tuatahi. What are we going to do here? Does the fish go first, or how are you Well, going I'm going to put it on a bed of watercress here, with the krihi. And then on top of that, we've got this beautiful piece of tarakihi, and I'm going to pop that here, like that. Right, hey? With the fennel bulb, I'm just going to do a few shavings, and we'll keep that one there, and I'll pop them in here. And then I'm going to put an onion. It's going to do a few rings here. And I'm just going to pop them on here like this. So when you think of tarakihi, it doesn't have a strong flavour. So mm. it takes things on board, is that right? Yes, yeah. yes. All these flavours here are just all going to blend into one another. Yeah. And these tomatoes, I'm just going to cut that little bit there just in case it wants to burst out of there. And I'll pop those here on this side. And then with this, I'm just going to pop a few slices, so. And maybe if we had a bit of lemon too, and I'll stick a bit of lemon in for the minute. Uh, what I'm going to do now is put a bit of that beautiful Lot 8 oil on over the top of it. I only need a little, little tiny bit, because if, if I haven't got enough, it doesn't look like it's enough, I can add it afterwards. Oh, that looks. Doesn't that look? And that's a meal. So pretty. How are those spuds going? Oh, they should be done, shouldn't they? How are those they? spuds going? Here they are. Hi. Perfect. There's a little bit of water in that steamer, and I like to put it on the stove, and when I see it bubbling, it's boiling. Aye. Then I put the lid on, because then I know that it's three minutes Aye. to cook. So I'll have a look. Here we go. And so how do you want to serve this up a I minute? Mean, it looks like it's almost ready to go, right? Well, you know what? It's pretty much servable from the way it is and the way it looks in the pan. So I'll pull it out of there and put it onto a dish. I'm just going to put a bit of Japanese chilli salt on it, and that's all you have to do. Rehe ake nea, why you are so onto it? Just three minutes. Tori minuti noiho, and look at how incredible it looks. Go, well, that looks entertainment level. Manaki plus. Hey, <laughs> Rawe, <laughs> it's such a cool idea and it looks amazing. Not only my kai taiwa, I feel like we should eat. Okay. E hoi, e paruhi. It's just perfectly cooked, and I love these little pops of colour. Mm. Important because it's visual. We need e so the, the that, potato are perfectly yeah, cooked, don't they? Yeah, they are. That is a perfect meal for two people. 
Tower. Or one Māori man. Ma, Scotty. I tino whakarangatira tia tēnei ika. We really, I think, took this fish to its appropriate level. And what about the trevally? Tell me what we're going to do next. We're going to pan fry this in a little bit of anchovy and butter. So I'd like you to sort of munch it up there. Okay. Rua koko, so about two tablespoons maybe? Yeah, and then we'll put a couple of these in there. So we're going to have a little bit of oil in that as well. Kia re re aine. Yeah. And we're going to make a little fresh herb salad to go with it. There's some coriander here. And then kaya koe te tikanga ngā momo raua mi ami ka whakauru here. Is it sort of up to you what herbs you want to put in there? You can put yeah. anything you like in there. Now on the recipe, I've got rocket, but because we've already used watercress and I've got watercress left over, use the watercress because it's all about utilising the greens that you have. And how's this thing to look? Oh, that's thing, perfect. Isn't it? That's beautiful. Okay, bye. And we can also get a few mint leaves as well. We'll add a bit of fennel, and then we could also add cucumber. Cucumber. Oh, yeah. And we might put the red of the capsicum in here. So, as per last time, you're thinking of colours as well. Love colours. Yeah. No, lovely. And then just chuck it in there. So that's our salad pretty much done. And then we're going to make a little herb sauce to go over it Ooh. as well. We're going to use half a cup of Italian parsley, half a cup of watercress, a tablespoon of fresh marjoram. We're going to use some basil, clove of garlic, season it, and then we put a bit of oil in it with, with it too. Hanumetia, and so we put that in the blender, yes. mash it all up. Yep. What is that? Yes, we do. Ah. Right, so we've made that little dressing up. But if you could turn that element on for me. That'll be good. And I'm loving being your number two. I'm Total loving four. you being my number two. Total for team. <laughs> we'll put this lovely butter Aye. and anchovies in there. Got a score there. And then put this in the. What are your signs you're looking for while you're cooking the fish in terms of where it's cooking and how it's cooking? You look on the sides here mm -hmm. and you can see that it's cooking up nicely. So it's white on the edges there. So it's still nice and pink inside. I'll look at you go. Just put a bit of this on. So this is really extravagant using this butter like this. Pouring I'm so excited. <laughs> so that is perfectly cooked. Trevally. Kapai. So okay. how are you going to serve up this perfectly cooked trevally? Well, we'll get the kumara out of the oven, and that should be beautiful. I'm going to put the trevally on the board. I'm just going to throw some of this onto the fish so it looks so pretty. And we're going to serve it with that beautiful herb salad. Like that sort of thing, it looks restaurant quality, but you just showed me how easy it was to do, right? It's so easy. We have our ik over here. Oh, I've gone way too crazy on the herbs. Mmm. Peha, how's it? Beautiful fish. So most of my dishes will be sustainable dishes too. Mm. You know, I bear that in mind, mm. that it's affordable for everybody. Hey, paru here, well, it's, it's just perfect because you've got the lovely little crispness on the edges. And you've got that takanoi at the pauka, but it's just falling off the fork. Delicious, isn't it? It is. The kumara mama noiho, the tsunu, and you know, the kumara is so easy to do, but it's all about the timing and, and then it comes out perfect. Te nā koe te hoa. Motaku here. Sorry, I haven't invited you beforehand, but please come back again. Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. Pleasure. Do a kiki. <laughs> <laughs>